Welcome, folks, once again to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. Uh, last time we uh, tackled some uh, slimes and uh, made our way to this exit here. So we are going to level 5. Ooh, interesting. Let's see what awaits us there. Oh, new kinds of walls. I mean, yeah, we have seen this before when we dropped down to this area, but still. Interesting statues. And this, like, gladiator type. Oh, looks like. Legionary with a spear. Mm, your uh, fellows have been hunting me down quite a bit. That is an interesting type of helmet, to be certain. Hmm. Ooh, nasty looking axe. Right. Well, I wonder if there's... Ah, another one of these cabins. Hope there wasn't anything interesting back there, because we sure as heck ain't going down that wa way anytime soon. Okay, so apparently there are quite a few uh, doorways. Uh, this one is locked with a key, but uh, this and that other one were locked with a switch. And there are the switches on the wrong side. Huh. Okay, let's go check this place out. I don't hear any enemies, so that's why I'm kind of feeling. Ooh, more crossbow quarrels. Actually, right now I have more more of those than I do of uh, arrows, so let me switch to that. For the time being. Scroll fire shield. Interesting. Uh, fire magic of 16, so I can't uh, even cast that yet. And there's actually... I still don't know the combination of um, runes for the fireball or fire bolt, whatever. It's kind of unfortunate, because I think... Uh, I'd like to have a ranged fire attack with Zergal, since uh, his primary ma type of magic is fire magic. Oh, but actually, hey, it wasn't that 13? No, it was 16. Ah, darn it. Because, yeah, there is a... Uh, from level 7 and 13, I still have uh, spells that I could cast, but I haven't found the recipe for a button mm. another button Ooh. and a key and a switch and a crate I'm finding all kinds of stuff over here ah, okay more more of that uh, good stuff. Ooh, and a scroll of light. Excellent, excellent. This uh, this freezes uh, freezes up uh, from having to carry these torches around because actually uh, the light spell brings more light than carrying a torch would. Uh, I still will carry a couple torches just in case. Um, especially since we may need those uh, for some puzzles, but that frees up Zergal's other hand. And this is apparently a secret. Ooh, lots and lots of evasion. Yeah, that's definitely an upgrade for you. And you can have a tiny bit of evasion too. Most excellent, most excellent. And we are. We currently have a metric 
buttload of uh, storage space, so you can actually carry that and let's put all these mushrooms in there just in case uh, these were used for some uh, alchemical stuff that I've uh, forgotten that's actually like really really useful I still don't remember what that sulfuric potion does should probably make one of those and uh oh that was completely accidental yeah I think you can um, chain these no you can't hmm. fancy that ah and actually there is a point to having uh, torches since uh, the area of effect is slightly longer um, torches produce light for a longer range than the light spell actually does but at a close range I feel like the light spell provides more might be just that I'm imagining things but okay that looks like s something quite scary what is this? Oh, a bit root bread always glad to have more food it's not like it's been a problem for us thus far but it may yet present some problems later on when we have to uh, sit around for longer periods of time healing mm, lots of buttons and switches and here we have oh this is interesting Which one did I press? Did I press this one or this one? Okay. Ha ha ha! Completely accidental, but still counts. Oh crud. Please get me out of here. I'm not at all opposed to fighting you guys. I just want to do it somewhere where I can't fall down a pit. I do not enjoy falling down pits. It's not something I want to do. Ah. Well, uh, at least that's... Uh, bolt of lightning whatever uh, wasn't very uh, strong attack although it did hit all of us so <laughs> again not really paying much attention to where I'm uh, going here mm. another note from Tunan perhaps yes indeed I preserved some of my extra herb, uh, herder caps in the nearby room. I am not quite sure what uh, the exact sequence of events was that opened the door, but I think I had to do three things and I'm certain that at one point I pulled the lever repeatedly, leaving it in an upright position. I hope the food hasn't gone bad. Okay, so three things and... Uh, repeatedly pulling the lever. I can only assume that means uh, uh, pushing one of these buttons and then going up and down. Let's give it a go. Maybe like this. No. 
Okay, let's go then like this. Hmm. Well, this is annoying. Uh, let's leave that at, for for now. Continue exploring. Hmm. Boxes and a throwing star. I probably don't actually need to collect those anymore uh, especially the throwing stars I mean uh, um, with the sling the rocks might still become useful if I happen to spend all my arrows but the throwing stars never get a uh, missile type weapon for me to shoot them with so ah, there's a it can be opened with a key we found. Ah, crud. Come on. I didn't deserve it since I uh, fudged up a bit with my dodging. Hello. Ah, crud. What am I doing? I'm messing up all my button presses. That should be it. I don't think there are any more buddies here. Hmm? It's a good find. Fist dagger. Huh. Now this would have been a brilliant weapon had I gone uh, daggers and assassination route with the uh, cylinder. Okay, but actually it's a decent time to have some snacks. Right now. At least with you two. Yeah, the rest of us are a-okay. Hello there. I really don't like the way you look, but happily you are behind a closed grate, so... No worries there, at least not for the time being. And of course, uh, straight after I say it, I noticed that I may need to <laughs> go and <laughs> uh, face you. Oh, bugger. Yeah, that's uh, something that I don't need. Definitely no need for that whatsoever. But, I think I must face these guys. Ooh, crab-like movements. Well, naturally, since you are crabs, but... Still... Messes up uh, the dodging rhythm I have. Since you can... Uh, move sideways as well. Mm. Almost managed to get a hit off me there. And that's 450 experience. 
Blimey, you are good exp. At least when you get them uh, one at a time. Please move away. Please. I don't care where you move, just move somewhere. Thank you. Oh, crud. Well, that wasn't so bad. I forgot that there was this uh, other four square room right next to us. Whoa! Some dodge dancing. And another 450 experience points. Get! More. Also, good thing that they make such a distinct sound, so they are rather easy to spot. Oh, but we are once again way over the 15 minute mark, so I think I'm going to end this episode here, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye for now.